Hey everybody, my name's Trav. This is my 1997 Honda 4Trax 300 four-wheel drive. If you're watching this video, you either own one of these or you're just really, really bored. What we're gonna be doing today to this machine is we're gonna be putting on a winch mount from KFI, a winch from good old Tractor Supply, um, and a snowplow from Colpin. So let's get into it. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get this front bumper off here. You got two 12 millimeter bolts on the bottom mount. You got two 12 millimeter bolts in the middle. You got two 10s up under the uh, front plastic here. Then you got two 12s up where the front rack uh, connects to it. So I've already cheated, took a bunch of bolts out. So I really only have one left, it's finger tight. That's what she said. Get that out. Wiggle it, uh, wiggle it out and there you go. Get the front bumper off. So next thing I'm going to do this because it makes it a lot easier. All I have is a ratchet strap, so don't come at me. I don't have any bungee cords. I don't know why. I never do. Um, let's take a ratchet strap or tie it down. Hook it to the handlebars or whatever. Hook it right up underneath the plastic here. And uh, let's tighten it up. Get it pulled up as far as you can because you got to start working uh, right in here. So, all right, let's move on. So this is the winch mount from KFI. I'll put the link in the description. Comes with a bag of hardware. I've already opened this up and checked it out, so it's not really a unboxing for me, but for you guys it is. Comes with a nice powder coated black uh, mounting plate. Mounts to some factory spots and then just some U-bolts to go into the frame. And it comes with instructions, which we're gonna go by because I need them. Now the only thing I don't have is a winch, so we're gonna go buy one. Let's go. All right, let's see. Get one of these bad boys. All right, we got the 2,500 pound, we got the 3,500 pound. Um, just gonna go with the 2,500 pound, $100. That's all we need, we don't need anything crazy. So we're gonna pick this thing up and uh, let's go. All right, we got the winch, it's still in the back. Let's uh, go home and get this thing installed. All right, so we went to uh, Tractor Supply, as you saw. Picked up the 2,500 pound winch. Let's get this thing open. All right, we've got the box open. Got our hook, we've got some mounting hardware. Styrofoam out of the way. We're on a tripod, so it's kind of hard to, to do this here. But, got the, uh, got the winch. Let's get this thing out of the box. All right, got everything unboxed here. Came with a mounting plate, obviously universal application. We got the, the wiring for the switch. We got the wiring to go to the battery, to the winch. Got the hook, mounting hardware, winch itself. All looks pretty uh, straightforward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the winch mounted on the uh, winch plate first. And we're gonna go from there. All right, so we got the uh, the winch mounted onto the bracket. <clears throat> Goes right up here, just like that. Um, so an issue I ran into, not with the uh, mount itself, with the winch, actually with the mount too. Um, the hardware that came with the winch itself was way too long, and the hardware that came with the mount, only two of the four mounting bolts um, worked. So. I know it's really hard to see up here, but we got these U-bolts um, that go right up like this. Mount to the frame. You got two uh, two washers, and two nuts that go on as well. And I'm dropping everything because I'm a mess. Speaking of messes, I use anti-seize on this. So if you use anti-seize. I should be using Loctite, but I don't have any, and I'm not going back to the store today. So, I will say the good thing about this mount is uh, you don't have to hold it while you're installing everything. That's awesome, because it would have been a pain, because with the winch on there, it's pretty heavy. Um, but, make it work. 
hard because I can't really see see too good, so don't mind me. And in the way. So one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep it loose. Um, don't tighten anything up until you get your front bumper and whatnot put on. Obviously the reason for that is to make sure that it all fits and that it fits good. So I'm going to finish putting this on. Like I said, two bolts up here and then uh, when we get to this part, we'll figure it out. All right, so we got the uh, we got the U bolts up in there. One thing I don't really like is uh, might be easier to just take the plastic off. I don't know. Um, the U bolt on the front right of the machine hits some of the electronical boxes up there. Not a huge deal. Um, let's throw the bumper on. Get uh, get this next part lined up. So, well, I'm looking at it correctly. The uh, factory bumper bracket here goes on the inside of the new mount so don't know how well you can see it on camera but something like that it's kind of a a pain here with the uh the plastic being pulled up out of the way and all that but at least get it started and see how we do all right so i get a little ahead of myself here um First video I've ever made so got the front bumper mounted uh, I did tighten just the bumper up I haven't tightened the bracket up yet so the bracket's still um, loose for the most part got the uh, chair lead in there it looks like it should bolt up no problem pulled the uh, the winch through put it on three spool um, so let's go ahead get the uh, the fair lead here all mounted up Making a mess with my anti seize per usual. But so far, uh, I will say it's been nice. I haven't had to cut anything. Um, so that's a plus. Everything's been bolting up awesome. I didn't have to cut for the winch, I didn't have to cut anything really. Um, it's been a pretty nice install so far, but you know what they say, nothing's ever easy. So I'm sure at some point I'll run into some type of struggle. The good thing is I do like, um, I don't even have to cut the front bumper. Like the winch comes out perfect. It's not going to hit anything. Um, I'm going to get this fairly tightened up uh, and then we'll see what we're going to do next. All right, so there it is. It's all mounted up. Um, still got to wire it. This thing has a dead battery. But the cool thing about these, if you know, is they have a kickstart backup. So, um, but yeah, I got to hook up the wiring still. I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video for that. But what I would like to do is just show you guys. But here we got the U-bolts. Um, Factory mounting holes right there for the bumper. This one's tough to see. This one was a pain. I know I said things were going easy and then obviously they weren't, but as you can tell, plenty of room with the winch. It fairly doesn't even touch anything. Um, yeah, so it's gonna work out good. I think next we're gonna move on to maybe getting the plow mounted or at least the push plates whatever they're called push tubes i don't know so yeah let's get to it all right so now the winch is on i got the front end up on these blocks i built these for a uh, project truck that i have which we'll get into in another video we're going to move on to getting the culpin outdoors mid mount plow kit um, installed as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory skip to the back here it just bolts on like that. It's very simple. I'm sure in here there's some special measurements where it's got to go, um, but I'm not going to bore you with the installation. So let me bolt this on and we'll be with you literally in a second. All right, so we got the 
and mid mounts on. It's pretty self-explanatory. The uh, the cutout goes towards the rear for the drain. Four U bolts total, two on each side. Um, so what it says to do is it's hard to see. There's a uh, a little notch right here where this tube goes into this tube and you don't slide the u-bolt up to it but you slide the plate up to it so it's kind of hard to see but the plate slides up to it tighten it down evenly i don't think there's a torque spec um but i just tightened it so she was tight and yeah pretty simple so let's see what the next box has in store for us so the one thing um i didn't tell you about that mid plate it comes with the pins for when you actually put the tubes on for the plow um, so that's nice the only complaint i have which whatever um, they only gave me four washers for those u-bolts so i really should have had eight they only gave me four i didn't put any of them on because i really don't care they come with lock nuts i'm not that worried about anything the holes weren't too big for the nut so wait what <laughs> anyways yeah so uh, let's get on to the next box. I believe we're gonna open the uh, the tubes now. See what they look like. All right, another box with Culp in. Put all the uh, the links in the description for for all this stuff. All right, lots of bubble wrap. Probably save that and wrap it around my girlfriend's head. Lots of styrofoam. We got a hardware kit. Here we go. We got the Culp in. Oh, hey, this is Kaiser. This is the best boy in the whole world. Um, we got the Colpin ATV Storm Chaser Plow Push Tube Kit. So that's what it looks like on paper. So hopefully uh, it works with the mounting plate that I got, but we'll see. Let's get this stuff unwrapped. What do you say? A sneak peek of the project back there. If you can tell what it is, leave a comment. All right. So we got the tube unwrapped. We got the front mount or the plow, all that fun stuff goes. Only concern I have looking at it quick, um, as you can see, I got two mounting holes on each side. Not sure that's gonna be okay with the mount that I got. I looked on their website when I ordered everything and it all should be fine. Maybe it just goes on the top ones, but uh, Let's get it onto there, and we'll see. All right, so got it in there. So it did end up working with the mount that I have. This must be just like a universal type. Uh, I'm sure there's maybe there's other mounts that use the two holes, but they just do one bracket to save money, which I totally get. So yeah, this works just fine. Um, Let's get the front of it together. We'll get this piece out. So I gotta open the hardware box and the instructions because it should probably help. But I think it goes something, something like that and the plow bolts to that. So let's get this thing together, huh? It's also starting to rain outside and uh, the dog decides that it's perfectly okay to just be in the rain. Except the issue is Anytime I take him out and it's raining, he never wants to do anything. But now he's just chilling. Damn dogs. All right, so I got the hardware kit. Unboxed. Random bracket. Random bracket. Springs for the plow. Whole bag of nuts, bolts, springs, bushings, all sorts of stuff. Uh, obviously the instructions. The instructions are awesome. Why are you eating a leaf? What? Hey, what are you doing? No? Okay. Anyways, so yeah, um, let's get this thing together. See how uh, how it comes out. We'll uh, unbox the plow here in just a minute. Just want to get this thing mounted up. Um, go from there. All right, so we got the pivot plate mounted to the push bars. Pretty self-explanatory. So make sure your pivot points, which are here and here, Make sure they're tight, but not too tight, because you've got to be able to pull this back easily to be able to pivot that. So this could be a little more loose, but I think it'll break in. But we're gonna go over here now. 
So my my garage, it's a mess. So we're going to uh, open this box. This is the plow. So I originally thought when we ordered this that it was going to be black, which it's not. It's gray, but it'll get the job done. So let me get this thing over to the front and we're going to get this hooked up next. All right, we got the plow all mounted up. It's looking good. Let's take a look. So it's a 48 inch plow. I forgot to mention that when we took it out of the box. 48 inch, uh, it's, it's just what works for me. My driveway is very small. I have a, only have a 300 cc ATV, so it doesn't have a ton of power. It is a workhorse. It'll push it just fine. We'll see how it does if we get a lot of snow. Um, the install was straightforward. I'm so happy with this brand, Colpin, how uh, everything went together. Uh, KFI for the mounting bracket for the winch. The winch itself, pretty uh, self-explanatory. I had to put that on. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I still didn't wire up the winch. Like I said earlier, I think I'm going to wait uh, until I get a new battery. That way I can just do it all at once and I'll do a video on that. I've never wired up a winch. It seems pretty self-explanatory. I looked at the wires. It's pretty cut and dry. I've done some wiring before on vehicles. I'm not that worried about it. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hopefully this video helps you out. This is the first video I've ever done on YouTube. First video I've ever made with myself in it. I've edited videos in the past as a kid, just having fun. Um, but this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And finally, after talking to a couple friends and my girlfriend, I decided to, let's just do it. So my project truck's gonna be next. I can't wait to show you guys that thing. I can't wait to start working on that again. I'm really getting excited to work on it. I haven't touched it in, it's been a year. It's a really cool truck. Um, it's gonna be a fun truck. It's a truck, I'll leave it at that. If you know me, you know what it is. So we're gonna leave it at that. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.